Well, in news just in, what comes as a shocking revelation coming from the United States, an individual identified as an Indian government employee has been implicated in a thwarted conspiracy to assassinate Gurpatwan Singh Pannu, the founder of the band Seeks for Justice organization in New York City. Now, this opens up a Pandora's box. So, what does it mean United States charging a quote-unquote Indian government employee to attempt to kill Gurpatwan Singh Pannu. This man needs no introduction. He is the founder of the band organization Seeks for Justice. Now, remember, if we go back, Hardeep Singh Nijar, also the same sort of profile, the same nature of work that he did, albeit from the soil of Canada. We saw in the last six months how the relations between India and Canada have soured. It also opened up the very notion that to whether Canada will get support of United States or not. Very recently, after this Niger episode, one piece of information came in just a couple of weeks ago that uh, there was a plan in place to eliminate Gurpatwan Singh Pannu also. Now, this could be completely unfounded also. There are no uh, clear mention in the United States records also, police records also, that something of this sort happened. And now suddenly <clears throat> we hear from the White House that uh, a man has been uh, charged with an attempted uh, uh, plan to kill Gurbatwan Singh Pannu. What does it mean? Is United States going the Canada way? Are we going to see the same repercussions between these two countries? Canada was totally different, albeit in the it's in the vicinity of United States, but it's altogether a different ball game. Remember the camaraderie that both the leaders have shown when Prime Minister Modi visited the United States not long ago. It was an all Gaga affair. Cut to uh, September of 2023, we have uh, the G20 summit that happened where uh, the state heads, including the US President Joe Biden, came uh, to India. That spoke volumes about uh, uh, the two countries. Now, the information that has been just received that Gurpatwan Singh Pannu, the founder of the SFJ, Sikhs for Justice Organization, which is banned by India. There was an attempt on his life and the United States has uh, implicated and identified and charged an Indian government employee, quote unquote. To give you the history, the United States attorney has unsealed charges against 52 year old Indian national called Nikhil Gupta in the United States District Court of the Southern District of New York, including murder for hire and conspiracy to commit murder for hire, each carrying a maximum sentence of 10 years in prison. Now, New York is very important here. Only a few days ago, when the country and the world was celebrating Guru Pura, that day when a US Indian envoy to United States uh, uh, went to uh, one of uh, the uh, uh, Gurudwaras in New York. He was heckled there, Mr. Sandhu, Taranjit Singh Sandhu. He was heckled by pro Khalistani members in the United States. They charged him, they called, uh, they started speaking about uh, how uh, they alleged that India is involved in the killing of uh, Nija, Hardeep Singh Nija, one of uh, the um, declared uh, uh, terrorists as far as uh, the Khalistani movement is concerned. And then uh, in the same breath, those pro-Khalistani members also heckled uh, uh, Mr. Sandhu saying that uh, uh, India is planning and he is planning uh, the killing of Gurupatwan Singh Pannu. Now, this was a planned effort on the very auspicious day of uh, uh, Guru Purab while the nation and the world was celebrating uh, his teachings. Now, suddenly, uh, this group of people uh, try to uh, uh, stop the US ambassador and heckle him and call him names and give him uh, a statement that India has been trying to kill Pannu. And now, just two days later, we see this action from the United States. So the court documents outline the intricate details of the conspiracy indicating the involvement of an Indian government employee working in collaboration with Gupta and others in India. Nikhil Gupta is the person who is in question here. The government employee described as a senior field officer with a background in security management and intelligence allegedly directed the assassination plot from India. The indictment terms Pannu as the victim who is a US citizen. Remember, Gurupatwan Singh Pannu 
unlike uh, Hardeep Singh Nijar, is a US citizen. He, he has the citizenship of India as well. And I presume he is a US citizen for sure. Whether he has got a Canadian citizenship, that we need to check. But yes, Hardeep uh, Singh Nijar was a Canadian citizen. Canada uh, went all uh, guns blazing against India. At the end, nothing was proven. It, India gave a tit for tat response and Canada had to backtrack. Canada had to climb down from its moral perch that it was sitting at. Now, the same thing is happening with India. This time around, Pannu, there has been no attempt on his life so far. His hale and hearty is safe. Uh, but a US move is certainly uh, something which comes as a shock. The indictment also highlights that Gupta, residing in India and associated with an Indian government employee, was recruited to coordinate the assassination plot. According to the court documents, the Indian government employee directed Gupta to contact a presumed criminal associate for uh, helping in hiring a hitman to murder the victim, which is Pannu here in New York City. Now, uh, this is not very clear. The so-called criminal associate was in fact a confidential source working with the Drug Enforcement uh, Administration, which is DEA. The source introduced Gupta to an undercover DEA officer posing as a hitman. The Indian government employee allegedly agreed to pay the undercover officer 1 lakh 100,000 US dollars for the murder with an initial $15,000 delivered as an advance payment by the associate of the government employee in Manhattan on June 9th, 2023. Now, these are the details that are we are receiving from uh, the reports that have been mentioned in the indictment in the court in the new york court against uh, this uh, indian official and the go between and the person so called person nikhil gupta nikhil gupta at the direction of the indian government employee provided personal information about pannu including his home address phone numbers and daily routines this is also again mentioned in the report uh, in the court documents as the conspiracy unfolded, Gupta reportedly forwarded surveillance photographs of the victim to the Indian government employee, keeping them updated on the progress. The document said, the court document, adding that Gupta instructed the undercover agent to expedite the murder, but also advised against committing the act during anticipated engagements between high-level US and Indian government officials. On June 8, 2023, and I'm giving you the details of the documents, of the details that are there in the court documents. On June 18, 2023, masked gunmen murdered Hardeep Singh Nijar, an associate uh, of uh, the victim outside a Sikh temple in British Columbia in Canada. Nijar, a leader of the Sikh separatist movement, which is again a uh, terrorist movement, I would say, a uh, separate Khalistan issue. Nijar was a vocal critic of the Indian government and Gupta allegedly informed the undercover officer the next day that Nijar was also the target and mentioned we have so many targets. Following Nijar's murder, Gupta reportedly urged the undercover officer not to wait any longer and to proceed with the assassination of Pannu. The gravity of the situation prompted Damien Williams, the United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York, to state, and I quote here, as alleged, the defendant conspired from India to assassinate right here in the New York City, a US citizen of Indian origin who has publicly advocated for the establishment of a sovereign state of Sikhs and uh, minority group in India. Williams expressed her gratitude for the efforts of law enforcement partners in neutralizing the threat and emphasized the commitment to, to investigate and prosecute those seeking to harm this particular US citizen. In case here it is Gurpatwan Singh Pannu. Now, Assistant Attorney General Matthew Mac Olson emphasized the Department of Justice determination to hold accountable those plotting legal actions from overseas, commending the dedicated law enforcement agents and prosecutors involved in exposing that dangerous conspiracy. So this is these are basically the charges that have been made in the court document. Now, why it is important that Pannu uh, finds the refuge? Because uh, uh, in the United States, it has been noted time and again that uh, elements like these have been given a safe heaven in countries like Canada, United States, UK for that matter. We have seen so much happening uh, down there uh, up to Australia as well, where uh, uh, the pro-Khalistani supporters and elements go on a rampage and the police at times uh, just stands by and watches them. Well, the uh, response that came from uh, Ottawa, uh, from uh, Prime Minister Trudeau's office is that uh, they are exercising their right uh, freedom of uh, expression. Well, uh, when it comes to the safety and security and a national security threat to a particular country like India, 
suddenly the western partners uh, you know uh, turn a blind eye but uh, for them if they have to cross continents and fire a missile and go and hunt an Osama bin Laden or kill someone in Iraq or Afghanistan or Iran, uh, they don't hesitate. So this kind of a double speak, uh, India has been calling out for a long time now. And uh, whether or not this involvement is there, it is not proven at all as of now. Could be a you know a pigment of imagination. Uh, could be a particular lobby that is working against India and trying to connect the dots to how Niger got killed in a, a gang war and how Gurpat Singh Pannu uh, faces uh, a lot of threat. I mean, he was one of the guys who was issuing openly, he was issuing threats that he would blow up uh, uh, Indian Airlines uh, flights uh, or during uh, the World Cup finals, which has recently concluded uh, in India. So no US action was taken. If a US national is thre threatening to blow up our civilian airlines, which what happened in Canada also with the Kanishka bombing, then the US must have taken note of it. That should have been the first focal point where the United States should have cracked down upon uh, Guru Patman Singh Pannu, who openly stands in front of uh, uh, United Nations building in New York and issues threat uh, to India, to Indian Prime Minister, to Indian envoys who are working in uh, Australia, Canada, US and other parts of the world. So this dichotomy must end here. And needless to say, New Delhi would be responding uh, shortly and will uh, keep a close eye on these developments and the way the India-Canada saga played out. I'm sure White House would be, Washington would be also treading its uh, ways uh, cautiously and not take any step in haste. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.